Welcome to this episode of Best of America by Horseback. We did several shows this spring to highlight some of the state parks in Virginia, my home state. Across America, when many parks and trails are being closed because of the economic situation, Virginia has done just the opposite. They have surged forward. They have opened new parks, new trails, new facilities to welcome people from all over America to come to Virginia. In that line, they've opened several new horse parks. We're going to visit one today, Dothet State Park. This is a place that you just sort of feel like you belong. The people that work here, the staff, they just make you feel like you've, you've known them for years. They're home folks, they're from this area. Everything that you may want to do, besides horseback riding, fishing, hiking, there's a ton of things to do on the lake, the beach, they have a restaurant that is second to none anywhere that you can have group gatherings in their cabins are really, really nice. I'm so proud of my state of Virginia, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode as we visit Dothet State Park. On this episode of Best of America by Horseback, Tom C. is visiting Dothet State Park, located in the Allegheny Mountains in Virginia. The park encompasses nearly 5,000 acres, with a 50-acre lake, and was one of the six original planned parks in the Commonwealth of Virginia in the early 1930s. A large portion of the parkland was donated by the Dothet Land Company, and the rest was purchased with funds allocated by the General Assembly in 1933 for parkland acquisitions. The establishment of the CCC, or Civilian Conservation Corps, by President Roosevelt that same year provided the means for the development of the park. Between 1933 and 1942, the CCC cleared trails, built a dam, a spillway for the lake, built cabins and other buildings, as well as a swimming beach and picnic areas in Dothet State Park. These features of the park have remained virtually unchanged since that construction. Tom spoke with Director of Virginia State Parks, Joe Elton, about Dothet State Park. Dothet State Park is nestled in the Allegheny Highlands. It's uh, in Bath County, uh, Virginia, Bath and Allegheny County, Virginia. It's near the Homestead, which is a famous resort. Uh, it connects to the National Forest, so at Dothet you can, you can hook up to literally hundreds of miles of trails. But what we're doing is we're opening a new equestrian campground with a full service bathhouse. Uh, so you've got hot and cold running water. Um, that is easy access to this great trail system. That park was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps 75, 80 years ago during the Great Depression. And my thought is, how cool is it that, you know, here we are in this recession when times are tough and we're building a new equestrian campground to open up new outdoor opportunities, get people on those trails. Well, this entire facility for the horses and mules is brand new. I mean, brand new. And everything that you could want, the washdowns, the stalls, the, um, the access to the trails for larger rigs, the pull-throughs, uh, it's well done. You're pretty excited about opening all this? We are very excited. This is, um, horses are not new to Douthat. Um, they've taken a little bit of a break. In the late 60s, there was horses, horseback riding in the park. Um, on the trail system, but it was all done through concessionaires. Um, so there was horses that uh, were rented out and taken on trail rides. Um, in the late 60s, early 70s, that went away because of um, insurances and things of that nature. So Dalfa took a little bit of break from the horse, uh, horse business, I guess. Um, and now we're just excited to be able to put horses back on the trail system. The new equestrian campground at Dothet State Park is a wonderful addition for equestrian guests to now be able to stay overnight with their horses. We had the privilege of being one of the first guests to use the new equestrian facilities, which includes new horse stalls, pull-through sites and hookups, and a new bathroom and shower facility. Tom couldn't wait to saddle up and ride the trails with guests at this park.
Tom was able to speak with the Dothan State Park manager, Charlie Connor, about what visitors can expect when riding here at Dothan State Park. Tell me about the trails here. Where do they go? What are they like? We have 43 miles worth of trails that make several different loops. Um, we have approximately eight miles of the trail system is now going to be open up to multi-use, which includes horseback riding. Um, those trails will connect to National Forest Trails on both corners of the park. Um, so you not only have access to horseback riding inside the park, but also outside of the park that, that uh, continues into the National Forest. Um, the remaining trails are mostly multi-use. Um, they get pretty steep, um, real high um, terrain that you're having to deal with and single track um, as well. So um, right now we have eight miles of trail system that's going to be open to horseback riding. Um, which is several different loops. So you can come and stay in the campground and make a uh, long loop or short loop. I mean, it's kind of your preference of the day. A family from New York vacationing at Dothet State Park was surprised and excited to see Tom in the park. They are riders and viewers of the show and had met Tom at a large equestrian event in Massachusetts where he was a featured speaker. Tom took time to sign autographs for them and talk to the girls before riding out on the trails. You guys are down here visiting in Virginia from New York. What's it like down here in Virginia? and in this particular park? I think it's really pretty and nice and quiet. It's definitely warmer. It's beautiful and relaxing and definitely fun. When you're on the horse and you're riding through the trails, whether it's Virginia or New York, I mean, you're, you're young and... Um, careless. <laughs> careless. <laughs> what are you thinking about when you're riding? What's going through your head? I just ride. I just let the horse do its thing. I look around at the trees. I sometimes daydream, but then I focus. You think you'll ever get your dad to bring you all back down here to ride in this park and join us here in Virginia? Well, I'm definitely going to try. That's yeah, good. me too. What is it about horse people and riding horses that is just uh, almost like medicine? What is it? I guess you grow addicted to it over the years. Is this the first time you've been at this park? First time. What do you think? Lovely. We're at Dothet State Park right here in our home state of Virginia. You stay tuned, we're coming right back with more of Best of America by Horseback. Welcome back to Best of America by Horseback's visit to Dothet State Park in Virginia. Tom has been riding on the beautiful wooded trails in the park and talking with riders about their experiences here at Dothet State Park. He spoke with Lisa Sleeper about Dothet's new equestrian campground and what people should expect when they visit here with horses. Is this the first time you have been camping here in the park? No, it is not. It's, of course, the first time I've had the privilege to horse camp here. Um, I love the new facilities, but I've brought my horse here many times and done the trails here. So people could come here to day ride or whatever, but now there's a new facility where you can camp. Let's talk about this, this site, how it's laid out, what's here, what people can expect. This is a wonderful location. The stalls are just premium. Um, they're close enough that you can keep an eye on your horse. Um, Great park, very well maintained, managed extremely well. It's quiet, it's safe. This is just an all around wonderful park with lots of things to do for everyone. Now we can back these rigs about anywhere we want, but the pull throughs are kind of nice. Yes, they are. They're very nice. You pull through, your electric there is there, the water there, you have uh, grills, you have picnic tables, bath house is clean. Uh, this is kind of a a family place. Yes. This is not this is a place where the kids, you can feel comfortable with the kids. Yes. 
You know, in this facility, uh, with the stalls and the uh, campgrounds and being new to the park system in Virginia is a big change. It's a welcome change. And I, I sincerely hope that the viewers will take part of it and come out and use the park. While filming this episode of Best of America by Horseback at Dothet State Park, Tom had the pleasure of spending the day with park manager Charlie Connor's two daughters. They rode with him on the trail and also assisted our production crew throughout the day. Tom spoke to them about what it is like living in the park and riding horses here with friends. Now, do you ride horses? When Lisa comes to town. When Lisa's in town with Lisa's horse. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Unless we go to Lisa's house. Now, what is it special about Lisa and her horse that you enjoy riding? Um, it's very calm and like it's really nice and it lets us feed it and pet it. Where do you ride that you enjoy riding the most? Um, is there a trail here, here hmm. in the park or over at Lisa's? Here. 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 Dothet State Park also has rental cabins for guests in many sizes, ranging from the original CCC-built cabins to new modern cabins with all of the comforts of home. Tom asked Charlie Connor about the history of the cabins here at the park and what guests can expect when visiting. You made reference a little earlier to some of the cabins that have been here for so many years. So the history of this park goes back to? It goes back to 1936. The park actually opened to the public June the 15th, 1936. Um, it was built in an era not much different than what we're going through now um, during the Great Depression. It was, it was built with the Civilian Conservation Corps. Um, you were hear them referred to as the CCC boys. Uh, they built the park. Um, they built 25 original cabins and one lodge. Uh, those cabins um, range from different sizes, one room cabins to one bedroom to two bedroom cabins. Those cabins also um, have been modernized a little bit on the inside to, to make them a little bit more appealing. We've added heat pumps and um, all of them have restrooms and um, full shower facilities and kitchens and things of that nature. But in total now we do have 35 cabins and lodges um, that um, accommodate the folks. Um, just a, a range of different sizes. One of the unique things about Douthat too is, is that we have one of every era of cabins that have been built in state parks. So we have, the, of course, the 1936 era, we have the cabins that were built in the 1960s and the late seven, early, early 70s, and then we have the ones that were just built um, with the 2000 on. Um, so we just opened up three cabins last October. So. so if I don't have a big rig, I can come in here with just a tag along horse trailer, put my horse in a stall, rent a cabin, and if my family doesn't like to ride, all of them, they can do the swimming, the boating, the hiking, the fishing. There's something for everybody here. There's something for everybody. There is also an original CCC facility that is now a full service restaurant overlooking the lake. Now tell me what people can expect to eat here. Um, we have royal trout, uh, quail, um, that's on for dinner menu as well as, uh, you know, the hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, Philly style steak sandwiches for lunch. Um, also offer breakfast on Saturdays and Sundays. This is as nice as any restaurant you're going to go to anywhere. Absolutely. And so you like it here a lot as well. I do. I do. The food's outstanding. The service is great. Uh, you're going to get that friendly service when they come up, you know, how are you doing, how's, how's your day, and they actually interact with you, which, you know, a lot of people, you don't get that. The 50-acre lake at Dothet State Park provides guests additional recreational opportunities such as fishing, swimming, and boating. They have a beautiful white sand beach and a canoe outfitter that offers canoe rentals for guests. We offer boat rentals uh, with or without electric motors to you know, tr trout fish on the lake. Um, later on in the summertime, then we also offer paddle boats just for the enjoyment of out being on the lake. Um, we also do have canoes and kayaks available for rent. Stay tuned for more of Best of America by Horseback's visit to Dothet State Park in the Allegheny Mountains of Virginia 
when we return. This is sort of a, a pride, not so much a job. Yes. You love this park, you love this area, you love talking to people, and I overheard you say when we were coming down that you, you enjoy so much being able to talk to people and show them the park. You want to comment on that? Yeah, the, the big enjoyment to me is to actually get out and talk to folks. Um, you know, there's nothing like seeing a small child that's never been to the mountains, never been exposed to this, and to be able to talk to them um, explain to them what, what it's all about, to, 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 to enjoy, stop and enjoy um, their day instead of being wrapped up in video games and things of that nature. And it, it's just that smile, you can't, you can't hardly explain that on those folks and, and adults as well. Uh, for the average uh, person that wants to get out, Dothan is a great place to start. And also, if they're new to horse camping, there's um, facilities here that make their stay a lot uh, nicer. Um, they got fire rings and they can cook on the fire, you know, open fire, as long as you don't have a brush fire warning or fire, uh, forest fire warning. All in all, I, th I, I really think people ought to take advantage of this. Gets them out anyway. Actually, let me ask you the question, why should folks come to Douthat versus any other state park? Well, it really doesn't matter whether you visit a federal, state, county or even a private park, the important thing is, is that you get outdoors and make memories that's going to last a lifetime. In 1986, during the 50th anniversary of Dothet State Park and the Virginia State Park System, Dothet was recognized as a nationally registered historic district. In 1998, Dothet won the Virginia Lakes and Watersheds Association Award for Best Operated and Maintained Dam. In 1999, Dothet received the Centennial Medallion from the American Association of Landscape Architects. Uh, what I want to make sure is that generations of Virginians that aren't even born yet have the same opportunities to enjoy this magnificent commonwealth, to have the, the interaction, the connection with nature. You know, it is reinvigorating, it's inspiring, it's, I call it therapy for the mind, body, and spirit. I, I read recently where the Center for Disease Control says five minutes in nature is the equivalent of one Prozac. Trust me, five minutes in nature is a better option. I think 50 years from now they're going to look back and say, thank God that they had the foresight to protect this, conserve this, to build this, and to make these kinds of experiences possible for us. And we're doing it uh, today during the Great Recession, just as Virginians we're committed to doing it during the Great Depression. If you would like more information on visiting Dothet State Park in Virginia, you can call them at 540-862-8100 or log on to the website www.dcr.virginia.gov for information on Dothet and all Virginia State Parks. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Best of America by Horseback right here in my home state of Virginia. As Best of America travels all over America, we want you to come and join us and ride with us wherever you are. We have a whole list of shows coming up all over the country. Please come and join and ride with us and also come to Virginia. Ride with us right here in the heart of the South. We'd like to take a moment to thank our special assistant producers today, Cassie and Gracie Connor, they did a great job and helped us put this show together. This is Best of America by Horseback. I'm Tom C. Thank you so much for joining us. That's a wrap. <laughs>